Have you ever created a gorgeous melody but struggle with composing harmonies? Are you a musician with writer's block? Have you ever wanted to make music but don't know where to begin? Maestro Genesis allows you to create accompaniment for any song in MIDI format without the slightest bit of musical expertise. Instead of composing like a traditional musician, Maestro Genesis allows you to evolve melodies in a way that is almost like breeding animals. With this method, you can create accompaniment shaped to suit your personality and imagination. In this way, you can participate in the process of creating music, no matter your musical background or experience. The song you are hearing now is an accompaniment created with Maestro Genesis. The user began with a simple melody and used Maestro Genesis to transform it into a complete work. Let's take a look at how to use the program. After opening the application, the Start Selection screen appears. There are three options. Quick Start allows you to work with Maestro Genesis from pre-selected MIDI's. It is designed to get you started with playing with the program right away. If you do not already have a MIDI in mind, this option is most suitable. Load File allows you to continue working with an accompaniment previously saved in Maestro Genesis. Simply select your desired population file and the chosen accompaniments will be displayed. Load MIDI allows you to create accompaniment from one of your own MIDI files. For this tutorial, we will choose Load MIDI. When the dialog box opens, choose a MIDI. Three track is chosen here. You should now see all the different parts of your original MIDI. For this example, there are three tracks. The generated accompaniment can only hear what you select in those boxes. That is, the accompaniment created will only be based on the rhythm and pitch of the tracks you select. To allow Maestro Genesis to listen to the first and third track rhythms, check the metronome. It should highlight when selected. Similarly, to make Maestro Genesis listen to the second and third track pitches, check the tuning fork. In summary, Maestro Genesis is listening to the first track for rhythm, the second for pitch, and the third for both rhythm and pitch. To listen to all of your tracks played together, simply press the play button at the top of your screen. But how do I know which tracks to select? As a general rule, if you are unsure what to do, try selecting both the metronome and tuning fork options for the tracks that carry the most important parts of the songs. After a while, you can get the feel for the most promising tracks to select. When you have finished selecting your pitch and rhythm tracks, click Done. You should now see a generated set of candidate accompaniments. Maestro Genesis just made these based on listening to the tracks you selected. Basically, you are telling Maestro Genesis what you like in order to help it figure out how to make accompaniments the way you like. To listen to a single candidate, select the horizontal section and press the play button. Notice that a selected individual has a yellow border. The screen will scroll with you as you listen. If you like the individual, click the floppy icon, which will save the candidate as a MIDI file and also as a special Maestro Genesis file that can be reloaded into the program to continue evolution. When you find an accompaniment that sounds good, indicate your liking by pressing the thumbs up button. By selecting candidates in this way, Maestro Genesis will incorporate aspects of your highly rated accompaniments into the next set of generated accompaniments. By giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down, you are teaching Maestro Genesis your personality and preferences. New generations will literally evolve to reflect your personal inclinations. To produce the next generation from the selected accompaniments, press the DNA or the Evolve button. Ten new accompaniments will display that take into account your selections. Continue with this process as long as you'd like, saving your favorites by using the thumbs up button along the way. I have indicated my liking by pressing the thumbs up button. To now evolve to the next generation, I will click the DNA strand at the top of the screen. A new set of generated candidates should appear. Maestro Genesis also gives you the ability to restrict the kinds of changes that are made. For example, 
Sometimes we might want to change only the pitch aspect of the accompaniment, but preserve the main rhythm. Or we might want to change the rhythm without changing pitches. This capability to restrict the kinds of changes that occur can actually lead to some very interesting results, like hearing a song with a different harmony but the same rhythm. To try it, select Settings, then hold Rhythm Evolution. If you are unsure which to try, concentrate first on holding the Rhythm Evolution. If you would like to load a MIDI when not on the initial start screen, press the Music Note button. To load a population file when not on the initial start screen, press the Folder button. Now you have seen how to create an accompaniment with Maestro Genesis. Notice how no musical knowledge was necessary to make the creative choices that ultimately led to the way the accompaniment sounded? You can do the same yourself. All you need is a MIDI file to begin and Maestro Genesis will take care of the rest. Accompaniments generated in Maestro Genesis can be a final creative product or even just inspiration. By loading the generated accompaniment MIDIs into a digital audio workstation like Cubase or Finale, you can adjust the accompaniments manually. So now that you have seen how the program works, have fun and good luck!